So the way you pay uh, when you use Azure App Service is you need an Azure App Service plan, and that's going to determine you know how much you pay and what's going to be available to you. You got three tiers, which we're going to go uh, through here shortly, and we did mention them earlier. I honestly do not like this whatsoever. This tells you this is a Microsoft product because it has these uh, wonky pricing tiers. I hope in the future they'll change it, but that's just what it is. And so let's go learn it. So basically what you do is you have like this big uh, wizard uh, that tells you all the stuff that you can have. It tells you what's included and stuff like that. Uh, but let's work our way through it. So the first thing is the shared tier. And there's two types here. We got free and shared. And so there's the free tier, that red one there, it's called F1. It gives you a one gigabyte of disk space, up to 10 apps on a single shared instance, no SLA for availability, and each app, app has a compute quota of 60 minutes per day. So there you go, you get some uh, free tier there. Then there's the shared tier. This provides up to 100 apps on a single shared instance, no SLA availability, each app has a compute quota of 240 minutes per day. Uh, and the thing is, is that I didn't know where the button is for that. So like the next thing right beside it is the dedicated tier. And I thought that's what it would be because it says 100 total ACUs. So is it? I'm not sure. But anyway, the point is there is a shared tier. Where it is, I don't know. Uh, and you can't use the shared tier on uh, on the on Linux-based systems. So you're using Windows. If you're using Windows, you got to use bigger instances anyway, which I don't know. I don't like that too much. But that's what it is. Uh, moving on uh, over, we're now into the dedicated tiers. And look, it's right beside the free tier. That's the green one. It says B1. And uh, if you expand it, it actually has a couple other tiers there. So I just wanted to show you that there was uh, three uh, there. And so uh, for dedicated tiers, we got basic, standard, premium, premium version two, premium version three. And we're looking at basic there. That's what that is. More disk space, unlimited apps, three levels in this tier that offer a varying amount of compute power, memory, and disk usage. It must be B1, B2, B3. Uh, and then the next thing over is uh, the standard. And I, we, had to, we had to switch tabs there onto the production tab. Notice the terminologies don't really match the tiers. Uh, and so uh, with standard, you can scale out to three dedicated instances, has an SLA of 99.95% availability, and three levels in this tier that are offering varying amounts of compute power, memory, and storage disk. And so then uh, that's that tier there. And we're on to our last tier, which is the premium tier. And this scales to uh, 10 dedicated instances. It has availability SLA of 99.95% and multiple uh, levels of hardware. So that's the dedicated tiers. Then we're on to the last thing, which is isolated. And this is really only gonna be used, I think, for ASE. So the, uh, the isolated tier has dedicated Azure virtual networks, uh, full network compute isolation, scales out to 100 instances, availability SLA of 99.95%. And again, I think it's just for those ASEs. Um, but there you go, that is all the tiers. And hopefully it makes sense to you. Uh, but it is a little bit tricky to figure out what to choose, but you don't really get to like pick at a granular level. That's what I don't like. Um, but uh, it is a really great service, Azure App uh, service. It does figure everything out for you, so maybe it's okay for you.